The hole hit me right across here. There's two cuts there. Last Thursday, Frank Hilliard was working in his garden when he heard a sound behind him, which isn't unusual in the busy Bering Cross neighborhood. I looked up and there's this guy, young guy, standing in front of me about four feet from me. I have no idea where he came from. Then I turned around and looked because I felt something going on and there was another young guy standing behind me that had jumped my fence. The two young men turned his garden tool into a weapon. Then he started grabbing my billfold and I fought him away from that. He tried again to get my billfold and then I had the whole garden hole in my hand and he took both hands, grabbed the garden hole, took two steps backwards and then hit me in the head with it. Hilliard has lived in the neighborhood a long time and says he could pick the guys out of a lineup. I also told him before the attack started that I, I recognized him and I knew that he lived in the neighborhood. He's one of many victims in what seems to be a growing trend of older people being targeted. We had another incident a few weeks ago where uh, a female tried to uh, knock on the door of a senior citizen and they got in the house and stole items. And senior citizens, you know, they have big hearts and they want to help you. And so when somebody comes to their house or someone uh, is asking them a question, they don't see a threat. Hilliard's 86 year old mother tells me a lot has changed in the neighborhood since she moved here 46 years ago. Back then it was a thriving community full of retired railroad workers and now she says it's full of abandoned homes and kids walking up and down the streets unsupervised. Despite kids shooting BBs at his window and a few break-ins, Hilliard says he's always felt safe in his garden. That is until now. Still, he feels lucky. The blow on the head could have done a lot more damage than it is. I'm very thankful that uh, I got off as light as I did.